help us out uh, by looking at a lot of the myths that I think a lot of us subscribe to, but some of these things are just not true, okay? Exactly, and one of the things that we did for, for the new book was we consulted over 800 published studies wow. to support the statements we make in the book. And a lot of what's in the book, along with how to have the best skin, is just how to get past all the misleading information out there. It is tough, because we're getting information, we're getting bombarded from so many different all sources. Over the place. Uh, so the first myth. Yes. Dry skin, drink more water. We hear that all the time, don't we? You read it yeah. in every fashion magazine. Whose dry skin has ever gone away from drinking water? <laughs> it doesn't happen. It's not how it goes. It's the, what the research has shown to be true about dry skin is that it's not about water content. It's about skin that has lost its ability to hold on to moisture. Right. So unless you are giving it those ingredients topically to help repair the barrier, yeah. your skin is going to be dry and you'll only end up making more trips to the bathroom. Got it. <laughs> so, what I have to recommend is a couple of examples of good emollient moisturizers. This one from Skin Medica, their TNS Ceramide Treatment Cream, which okay. you can find locally in doctor's offices. Uh, that's around $60. Uh, Paula's Choice at paulischoice.com is the Calm Redness Relief Moisturizer for normal to dry skin. Very, very soothing. Okay, love that. Myth number two, one special ingredient like vitamin C or peptides yeah. is all aging skin needs. It's all you need, just one thing. I wish it was that simple. I was just talking <laughs> to someone off camera and I thought, I wish I could just say, use this product and you'll have perfect skin. It isn't that easy. Doesn't skin is work. complex. It's the largest organ of the body. Mm -hmm. And just, you need to think of skincare like a healthy diet. Okay. If you only ate broccoli, no, broccoli is great for you, but yes. if you only ate broccoli, you'd quickly become malnourished because it doesn't give your body everything it needs to look and act healthy and younger. Yeah, so what point. you want to look for in skincare, particularly for anti-aging, are products that contain a mix of different ingredients. Don't focus on just one, no matter how good it is. Okay. Antioxidants, cell communicating ingredients like retinol or niacinamide, skin repairing ingredients like glycerin, cholesterol, ceramide, Brands that do a great job of this, a couple come to mind. Uh, one is not pictured, um, Estee Lauder, I'll mention them. Olay mm -hmm. and Dr. Dennis Gross Skin Care uh, are really at the top of their game and in including those types of ingredients. Okay, really good. So look for those special keywords, but you need a few of them and you need to mix them right. up. There will always be something called out. What you want to make sure is that you're not buying what I call a one note product. If yeah. it just contains retinol and nothing else, yeah, you can do better. Yeah, you can. All right, myth number three, acne products that make skin tingle mean the products are working to get rid of breakouts. That's not true. Very common misperception. You Unfortunately, would think when the tingling is happening, things are getting done. Right, the bacteria is it's getting happening. killed, the oil is being reduced. Yeah. Ironically, though, what happens, that tingle is your skin telling you it is being irritated. Oh. And <laughs> if you have oily or acne-prone skin, here's the double whammy for using irritating ingredients that irritation can stimulate nerve endings at the base of the pore mm -hmm. that are attached to oil glands. Uh-oh. And then the oil gland says, I'm sending more oil to the surface of skin. Oh, no. So you actually That's make the condition worse. Look for gentle, fragrance-free, acne treatment products that don't contain denatured alcohol, menthol, peppermint, eucalyptus, citrus. Proactive Plus is a great all-around brand for that. I also like the products from La Roche-Posay's Epiclar mm. line. Okay, really good. Myth number four, eye creams can eliminate puffy eyes and dark circles. Do they not uh, eliminate puffy eyes and dark circles? They don't. They we, don't. We know this to be true because how many of us have spent untold dollars on eye creams making those claims and our puffy eyes and dark circles really aren't any better. Right. But I don't want it to sound hopeless because it isn't. There are good things that eye creams can do. But a sneaky cause of dark circles, particularly if you've had them since you were an adult, yeah. sun damage. Oh, really? We get that discoloration under our eyes from years of unprotected sun damage. So mm. what I like suggesting is using a gentle mineral-based titanium dioxide or zinc oxide eye cream with sunscreen around the eyes. Okay. Clinique Super Defense, Age Defense has SPF 20. That's a great example you can find locally at your department store. Yep. Before you put that on though, put on a treatment product with niacinamide that also adds radiance to skin. Mm -hmm. You can use that all around the eyes. Paula's Choice Resist Pure Radiance Skin Brightening Treatment is a great example of that. Now for puffy eyes, mm -hmm. a hidden cause of that puffy eye problem, especially if you wake up to them, is not getting all of your makeup off at night. Oh really? I'm sure a lot of us are guilty of it's, that. Exactly. You know, you, you fall asleep, you don't take it off, or you just kind of do a, a not so great job of cleansing. Mm -hmm. 
Elmay's Liquid Eye Makeup Remover, which you can find in any drugstore, is an amazing, very quick way to make sure all your eye makeup's getting off. Oh, very cool. All right, so, and is this good in terms of puffy eyes or dark uh, circles under the eyes for all skin complexions? Yes. All colors? Absolutely. Okay, really good.